How to handle the row selection in iOS or when I click on any of the particular cell in table view, uh, how can I navigate to another screen or when I am one screen, so how I can push my one screen to the second screen? The answer is this complete video. Guys, today I am going to train you how to handle the row selection in table view. I am Ayush, so let's get started. Um, today in Coach Room, I am going to train you the complete handling of a row selection. So guys, the very first step is that you have to go on to the google.com and once you're on to the google.com, you have to type course room. Under the course room, you have to go on to the courses section. Under the courses section, you have a category by the name of how to handle the row selection in table view. Guys, once you have done this part, <coughs> now head over to your Xcode. Now click on to the file, to the new menu, click on to the project and just type and just click onto the next button by selecting that single view application under the iOS category. Once we have done this part, name this project as Row Selection Codes Room. Do note you have to select the language as Objective C right now and click on Next. Now click on Create just to create your repository link. And now you have your complete project setup. As you have watched my complete previous videos, you have complete understanding of what is app delegate, what is view controller, what is main dot storyboard, and everything which is laid uh, actually into the complete structure. Now it is uh, required to just head over to main dot storyboard, click onto the view controller, drag and drop the table view into my complete screen. Just connect the delegate and the data source and make the reference outlet onto a class which is by the name of view controller. Connected to the complete interface file onto the sorry into the implementation file. Now select the complete single window and now just right click onto this folder select the new file click onto the cocoa touch class click on next and write second view controller click on next click on create you can see that this creates your next class which is by the name of sorry it is a, just a typo uh, you can just write any other name as well let me delete it, this file and let me create it once again you can go to new file you can click onto the cocoa touch class you can write second view controller you can click on next create so now you have your second view controller as your second class now just head over to main.storyboard into my previous videos you can just see that this complete view is having is actually the initial view controller right so now what we have to do is just write navigation controller it pre-selects the it already selects a root view controller with itself just delete that root view controller and now just right click onto the navigation controller and drag and drop the root view controller to our view controller which we had it earlier and now just now drag this complete point the initial point to the navigation controller and now Let's create another view controller which is by the name of second view controller. Do note that let's head over to the view controller.m file and just paste the complete code which I explained you before. Now let me initialize an array by which I'll be populating 
my table view now i am just defining the memory by alloc initing it first second third right now <clears throat> just import the second view controller into your view controller file as you have to move on from the first view controller let's say from your view controller file to the second view controller class now just copy the name of your second view controller the view controller on which you have to navigate and just write it here land onto the main dot storyboard and select the second view controller and name your view controller as the second view controller this is the name actually this is the instant identifier so that once you are onto the view controller dot m it says that instant view controller with identifier it actually requires a name on which you will be learning to right and this is let's say you have your main dot storyboard so what is the storyboard name in which your class is and this is defining this particular line is defining that on to the main dot storyboard file you have to come onto this particular file which instance name is second view controller this one and now this complete line is saying that you have to push the complete view controller from this class to my second screen now i'm creating a kind of a custom cell which i'm going to create it let's say new file select the cocoa touch class select the U ui table view cell select the also the xib file click on next click on create and now i just head over to the custom cell table view xib section and this is my custom cell so whatsoever i have to print on my complete cell i can just do that now head over to the view dot view controller dot m file and just import custom cell table view cell dot h and now you can just make a label onto your custom cell which you have made it and you can define the outlet of this label in your custom cell table view dot h file and you can name it as label name and you can just click onto the connect button and once you are onto the view controller dot m it's time to get started now see the magic guys one 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 minute how i'll come to know that i've landed onto my main storyboard the second view controller let's add a label onto it and write hey i did it now you can select iphone 6 as this is my favorite one head over to the view controller dot m file guys do note that 
once I've done this part, I'll show you that how you can when you will click onto the one particular section now you can see that once I click on first second or third my second view controller which is by the name of second view controller class is being called now this is the sample so let's say I click on to the second view controller do you remember that I told you that once a class is being called view did lows is the first section or the first function which is already called so let's say I just add a breakpoint over here just by clicking onto this and uh, I click on first you can just see that it lands over to my second view controller dot com uh, dot m sorry so this is the way by which we can just navigate from one screen to another now it is a time that when I click on any of the particular cell I want to add a pop-up right so this is a particular piece of code which you just have to uncomment when you download this complete sample so let's say it says that UI controller you can just add the complete title with a message and the OK button onto it now I just comment this part now what it will do is that once I click on any of the cell of my view, uh, table view it will show me a pop up which says this is an alert now let me change the text now click onto the run button and you have your build succeeded you have your iPhone 6 in front of you and now I click on to the second it says my alert goes through guys it was very much entertaining for myself to just train you the complete thing of the row selection inside the table view so stay tuned guys and uh, thank you for watching my video have a nice day